Which shadows over in a strong green cards will be best for you during the pre-release? I'm the Rhino. Join me on our adventure through Magic the Gathering. Welcome, young mage. I'm the Rhino. The Shadows of Rage Shot is coming soon, and if you're going to be playing in the pre-release, here's a few things you need to know. If you haven't watched my thoughts on Shadows of Rage Shot, white cards, blue cards, black cards, or red cards, you can see them. Oh, just pick one. I'm making the funniest face and you can't even see me. Oh. So what common and uncommon are best in green? Hmm. Green is all about huge creatures. I can see in green as a primary color for my pre-release deck. So here are cards I see as the strongest. Starting with Clip Wings. There are a lot of foreign creatures in this set and this is a great removal spell. If you see that your opponent doesn't use flyers, you can remove it for the second game. Cult of Waxing Moon is that card that makes flip-flopping between states so much fun. Flip-flop, look, there's an extra wolf. Graphmole makes clue tokens go from reasonable to wow, I'm happy for the extra life, thank you. Hermit of the Naturals is a really annoying, I have a lot more cards than you creature. Keep drawing cards, and when Hermit flips, keep drawing even more cards. Hinterland Logger is a very solid card for the cost. It's not amazing, just solid, and when it flips and it gets triple, it is solidly in your favor. Lamb Holt Pacifist is one of those that most everyone is going to pass up. Two for a 3-3 three, three is okay, but what if your opponent doesn't cast a spell on turn 2 after you cast this? You now have a huge 4-4 four, four attacking on turn 3, just plain nasty. And finally, Watcher in the Web has Reach, of course, which is always good against flyers, but with the added ability to block up to eight creatures is a super cool. It's common, so expect to see a lot of these and at least one up in your deck, if not two. I think green is a great primary color in Shadows Over Innistrad set. There are absolutely no bad rares in green for the pre-release. None. The weakest one is Sage of Ancient Lore. That's because you need to have a lot of cards in hand to make him great. But that shouldn't be too hard with Hermit. That's it. What do you think? What are you most looking forward to in Shadows Over Instrad green cards? Comment below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I have more videos coming up soon and until then, right now. Are you sure you're good? Yeah, I can see it over there. <laughs> there are. You said there are not a lot. Okay. And tokens go. Um, Exclude tokens. It. 
Yeah, I actually did that one in the Lamb Holt Pacifist. Pacifist. Everyone is, yeah. I'm going. Yeah, uh, 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 oh, uh. Even though the huge creatures are taller than me. Yeah, I think I'm just too excited. Okay.